Hello everyone, Sally here and welcome back to another episode of Bug Rock of the Week. Today I'll be showing you some illegal block placing methods that are going to be extremely convenient and helpful to you in your Minecraft worlds. Whether you like doing a lot of building or just PvP a lot or just place a lot of blocks, these placing methods will help you place blocks faster than normal, place them where you shouldn't be able to, and overall it's just extremely convenient in a lot of different ways. Full disclosure, these are most likely bugs that allow you to place blocks in these ways. However, they've been in Bedrock Edition for so long that you may as well just go ahead and know about them and use them to their fullest potential. So the chances are you most likely know about edge placing. This is a Bedrock Edition feature that you can use on any Bedrock platform and it's honestly so convenient. You just look over the edge and then simply place a block and you can place it mid-air kind of like attached to this face. So you can use this for bridging and if you spam click it then it honestly works pretty well and it's a really 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 convenient thing once you start using this feature of bedrock edition you will not stop using it it is such a convenient thing and hopefully java edition can get this someday because it is honestly just the best so edge placing is pretty basic however this next one is actually very convenient for building upwards what you can do is simply crouch jump and then start placing blocks and in survival mode you can place a pillar of blocks that is 10 blocks tall as you can see there, it's a giant pillar that is way higher than you would normally be able to reach. Normally, you would only be able to reach about, you know, seven blocks up in the air, even if you jump. So this can be very convenient for building up pillars of your house. So for example, if you want to build a bunch of pillars out of logs, you can simply do this and then bam, you will have yourself a log pillar and they don't get rotated or anything. However, keep in mind some things that are directional, like pistons, will get rotated and be a little bit wonky so as you can see it's not exactly ideal for everything also it doesn't work for everything either it doesn't work for like walls or trap doors or other things with small hit boxes but any full block it'll work just fine however it does work for glass panes iron bars and fences and this can be very very convenient for filling in a giant window so for example we can go ahead and place in our glass panes in here for this one you got to be a little bit careful not to place them to the sides but if you get the aim correctly you can fill in this entire window really quickly without having to worry about placing them on the edges or aiming too fine like filling in a giant window normally is just a pain in the butt but using this little method you can fill in a giant window pretty easily it's honestly really really convenient now keep in mind this is extra buggy so if your window is shorter than 10 blocks you will sometimes place a block above where the actual window frame is so if we just keep on placing this you'll see that some of our blocks have ended up above the window frame so it's a little bit buggy it'll just like straight up go through things but that's also also, good potential for trolling. If you're so inclined, you can totally troll your friends using this little mechanic as well. What you need to do is have your friend be standing up there at the surface layer. As you can see, we have a player up there, and then we need little gaps going downwards to where you're at. So if we jump down here and use this method with some fences, for example, as you can see, it's placing the fences, and now we've placed some fences all the way up on the surface next to our friend with absolutely no players around. So you can totally troll them, make them think you're using invisibility potions or something like that. And the great thing about this is you're already crouching to use this bug anyway. So keep in mind, you do need these little air gaps in place for this bug to work. If you have solid blocks going all the way up, then unfortunately, it's not going to place in going all the way to the surface, which is rather unfortunate. So I'm just curious, can we kill our friend using some TNT? So as you can see, we got the layered thing and there's a redstone torch up there on the left. So let's see how this works out. Do the jump placing and TNT goes all the way up to the top. It gets lit and then it's also going to hurt you as well. Don't, don't assume it's not going to hurt you. Ow. <laughs> don't, don't, don't blow up their base. Don't be mean. Maybe if your friend likes trolling, it, this could be good for you. <laughs> 
So in survival mode, you're limited to pillaring a 10 blocks up, but in creative mode, you can pillar up to 16 blocks, which is a weird difference, but I guess it makes sense. So back to some horizontal placing tricks and what I was showing in the intro of the video, this is basically a different type of speed bridging. So this is actually really, really easy to do and it's super cool and it's super safe and it's just awesome in general. What you need to do is you need to run towards an edge and simply place a block and then hold the place block button if we jump up on here you'll see that we can walk forward and it'll keep on placing blocks and then we can walk and we can run as well and we can go until we've spent an entire stack of blocks i've tried switching to a different stack of blocks and it never really works you just fall off the edge uh so once you spent a whole stack you just kind of start again so over time you will be going up and kind of stair stepping making the longest staircase in history but it's such a cool little thing that you can do and it's honestly extremely extremely easy as well. It might take you a little while to get used to this, so I would suggest practicing for a little while, but again, you go run towards an edge, hold down your place button, and then you jump up here and it just keeps on placing blocks. You can just walk normally like this, you can get right up on the edge and start looking down if this is the kind of thing that you feel like doing, but this feels very sketchy to me. I don't, I don't like how this looks, so I prefer to keep it out in front and then it just kind of run jump as well. It's honestly super convenient. Obviously bring a pickaxe because sometimes you will play her up in front of you and you don't really want that to stop your bridging efforts. But yeah, once you get the hang of it, you can bridge super far, super fast, and it's not a big deal at all. So there you go. That's the secret to how all those Skyblock and Bed Wars and all those other minigame server people do it. This is the illegal trick that they've been taking advantage of for years, causing you to fall into the void constantly, destroying your bed, stealing your treasure. Yeah, you're welcome. Now you can fight back. By the way, this also works with slabs as well, so you can half the amount of materials that you need to bridge with, and then when you run out of a stack, you would basically just kind of double it up like this, and then start again, and that is really all there is to it. Do you know of any other illegal block placing methods? This is about all I got, so if you do, let me know in the comment section down below, and I might make another video on this, but otherwise, I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode of Bog Rock of the Week. If you did, then of course, consider Consider leaving a like on the video, possibly sharing it around so that other people can enjoy this and learn of these tips and tricks too. And if you're new here, then maybe subscribe. That way you don't miss future videos on the channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.